Hey, what's up? This is Pat G. This is the Where Will I Go vlog episode two. I got to catch you guys up on some stuff. Um, I think on this video, we're going to recap the June 17th emo show, uh, or June 22nd. Um, and I can't remember. I'm, I'm tired. I just woke up. <laughs> uh, also, in this video, we're going to recap the uh, um, other days of the Javelina Bar residency. Shout out to Official Tip Cow. Shout out to Renee. Shout out to Javelina Bar. Shout out to all the artists that came out. I'll see that here in just a second. I'm actually about to hit the studio with Lex and um, get some new music out for y'all, man. I'm excited. So, I'll take two. Stay tuned. Stay. Stay. Yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Yeah, check this out. Honestly, I look at this show, well, look back at this show and realize just how great an event this was. There was a lot of art, a lot of people. Um, I think it had to be like well over 300 people in the building um, maybe even more than that you know and just a lot of fashion a lot of runway models and just some stuff that I never was uh, never even thought about being a part of but it all worked out and it was a great show so check this out Honestly, there was a ton of great performances and you know this video doesn't do it any justice at all because I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to but uh, that's my homeboy Manakis right here he's a great guy great teacher good friend I've known him since I've been in Austin and he's always I'm always been, always been a big supporter of him so yeah This is me and DJ IQ and Auburn, my manager, is actually recording. Um, just me being in the back, being goofy, uh, trying to freestyle, and it sucks. So uh, don't pay attention to it too much. Auburn, hold the camera. What what you want? Freestyle. You know how it go. Chilling in the backstage at Emos. You know, the crazy part about this show is that I turned it down initially. Um, just, you know, some details and stuff like that that I wasn't really necessarily happy with. And I just felt like I had gotten to a point where I can do certain things and I should be able to you know just kind of dictate my own path and um it's crazy how that happened because eventually or you know they we had parted ways and we said no but then we ended up coming to, to some terms and, and agreements that ended up making the show happen so I'm really proud that that transpired and I, I can honestly say this is one of my best shows to date so I just started coaching seven on seven for them. And uh, I was talking to one of the players and he was like, Coach Pat, thank you for coming out. We appreciate you and what you're trying to do for us. Thank you for sticking around because not many people do. And I just had to let them know that I believe in them if nobody else does. All right, so y'all make some noise for Eastside Memorial High School one time. Yeah, what's the next one? It's too late, actually. This is actually a new song. So if I mess up, it's all good. I'm just keep going. Be relentless. I'm just talking. I live it. That's the motto. So be relentless. Um, this song's called "It's Too Late." Gotta check it out. Look, shout out to my manager, my DJ. They, they know I like the the water with some limes and lemons in it. They put it in there for me. Thank you. Y'all pay attention, it's a little deep, it's a little bit. Chill, chill. I say, better late than never. They say, if you're on 
time you're late, so being early's better. The conclusion that I've come to, one of many simple truths, something that they don't teach in school. Preachers in the pulpit, people in the pews. If it's only one Bible, so many different views. I'm dazed and confused. Just another question unanswered in the days of my youth. We went to church five days a week. Like how many times you gotta go to church to make it to heaven? No disrespect, no attempt to discredit. Only openly vocalize in my misunderstanding. God's word is the standard. In that back is that firm. He built one church, learned that from his word. Further like it inferred. In my conclusion, denominations are synonymous with confusion. Something God has nothing to do with when dropping knowledge. Never too late, never too late, never too late, never too late. Never too late. is. It absolutely amazes me how much my stage presence has increased and improved over the last few years because I could never imagine myself doing this a few years ago, like five, six years ago when I first started. So this was great. It's a really great moment for me. And like I said, I'm really grateful that the show ended up working out because I would have never got to experience this right here, this moment. And then also, I wouldn't have made it so many uh, network uh, connections as well. So, this was fun. This was really fun. Self determination, got plenty of it. When it's this good, gotta take advantage of it. Roll with the punches, gotta stay productive. No discussion on the subject, always up to something. Mama said I'm stubborn, Lord knows I love her. Watch for my sisters, smallest of my brothers. Always been a runner, burning rubber out the gutter. With a strong structure, ain't too many tougher, or work harder. I keep my heart up, head up, build water, bust through like a charter, cause I'm what it's supposed to be. Rhythm and poetry, just to pull the see. Locally, they got love for me, and hopefully, they'll keep putting on for me. Never turn my back, don't be so forget the blinkers. Can't see, I stay on point, like index fingers. I really appreciate the experience. I appreciate everyone who helped out making the show possible. Thank you. And, you know, like I said, the show wasn't even supposed to happen. Like I had turned it down. And next thing I know, you know, we end up making things happen. So you know what the motto is, be relentless, I don't just talk it, I live it. And so this was a great moment. Shout out to Emos. Hopefully y'all get me back on someday, some, sometime soon. Um, Hey, this is dropping knowledge. No, wait. No, it's not. Just kidding. This is the Where Will I Go vlog. Episode 2. Uh, we'll just call this one the Emos. Emos show. The I don't know. Y'all have a good day. Peace. Make sure y'all share, like, and subscribe.